This is Code.org, and let's talk about what we think the program does. All right, so we have a my council, and guys, remember, we're talking about enhanced loops. So I really want to look for those loops, and I'm not seeing one. I'm seeing a four. Ooh, interesting. A four, a four, and a four. Let's go over here. Hmm, very interesting. So we haven't actually seen a for loop quite like this. And well, I have a feeling that is why we are currently seeing one. Or why we're getting asked this question. So let's talk about a for loop. What does a for loop do? It iterates, it loops over content. Now, usually what we're used to saying, seeing is something like for int i equals zero. i is less than the length of a list i plus plus because we would need to add one to i each time and then we'll have content inside of the loop that you know maybe we're adding something up or maybe we're printing out the contents of a list something like this and we go through each item in that list and now in that same vein i'm going to assume a for loop is still going over content now let's see what is my songs though huh well let's see here oh my songs interesting is an array. What's in an array of? Ooh, this is trickier than I thought. It looks like it's an array of song objects. We instantiate song. We uh, instantiate song objects using new song running the constructor. And so we have these instantiated classes here. We then make an array of our classes. Wow. And so then it looks like we have a for loop. And if I'm going to assume that we're just trying to iterate and maybe we're doing so in this fancy way, but what we're doing is iterating. Well, then to me, it would look like we are iterating over the my songs array by item song. Notice that song song. So each song is an item. So I'm going to assume then just kind of by how this is composed, that item will be representing whatever song is at that index. So first we'll start with blinding, zoop, hit the bottom back to the top, then item will become perfect, bottom back to the top, then lovely, zoop, then memories, then graph. So it will work somewhat like a traditional for loop. Therefore, we'll be printing out the title, the rank, and uh, looks like, oh, an updated list. Oh, change the rankings. So let me hammer some of this out. So here, I'm just kind of stating what I already said. Item's going to represent the song at each index, and we're going to be able to loop through that. Now, I just bullet pointed because I'm just brainstorming some. What you want to make sure you do understand is this. You also need to be writing in complete sentences and your own sentences. You really want to expand on this and think critically about what is going on here, because if you don't learn it and you don't understand it now, not only when you hit run will you score poorly, but this now, these next few levels will be a challenge. So make sure you got this down. Looking good. Onward.